And good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to show you another x-ray in the x-ray of the Mona and the Medeon that are the same. And you're going to see some doggies. It's uh, very unusual. Uh, it was an accident that I just ended up having before I went to go fix another YouTube. Number 475. I didn't reduce it uh, down. And, but I did uh, display it because it has some interesting uh, things in it. And I'm not going to give it up. So I'll straighten it out before I take it off. Anyway, I'm going to show you that the Mona Lisa has um, this x-ray in her. This is uh, all done by um, the uh, professionals that are uh, uh, checked out the Mona and verified it. Now, this is the Medeon. It has not been uh, verified by uh, the professionals. I don't believe it needs to uh, because it has every exact uh, image in it that it has in the Mona that you could not copy down below the top surface. And what I mean is, is what's in this X in this painting has. 2,500 microscopic images that are identical that are hidden in this that takes you seven years to even find. And nobody would ever know it except for the artist. So I don't see why you have to go to school uh, to, to see what you see and uh, uh, to verify that puzzle pieces match. Uh, you don't have to all of a sudden get a certificate saying, oh, I, I passed my course. Uh, that. Um, when you already know how to drive, or then again, I've seen a lot of people drive and they got a driver's license <laughs> and they don't know how to drive. Anyway, but you, if you watch my nearly 600 YouTubes, you'll know what I'm saying. So I'm going to show you in his nice doily area through his face, upside down 90 degrees, and I'm going to show you in the Mona Lisa's x ray done by the professionals that um, I'm shocked they hadn't even called me but if you take a look here is this image that is here and I'm going to blow it up a little bit as you can see okay this is what we're talking about now I'm going to show you this image, which is in reverse, uh, and I don't know how it gets that way, um, but um, you can see the same image, but when you, I grab it, it flips, so uh, anyway, let me pull this, flip this. Uh, 180 see the same image okay so we're going to take this and we're going to overlay it and you can see this one's a little larger let me reduce it excuse me let me pull this down for you to see what I'm going to show you and open it up some more because then you'll see the doggies we love doggies. I got three of them, chihuahuas. I love my babies. Prince, princess, and little lady. Little lady's the middle one, believe it or not. Okay, so I scoot this down. Insides. So I scoot this up. Okay. 
And the way you know you got the right image, because you can see the dog here and the dog here. See, dog, dog. This is the dog. Okay, and then he makes this dog even bigger. See, bigger with the ears. Okay. See, he puts the inner ears, inner ears, inner ears. These are outer ears, and he flows them out so that the doggy moves, if you know my YouTubes. And this will move. Now, you're going to talk about that this x-ray could, let's say, been shot with a um, 85% radiation penetration. Uh, uh, that's kind of like getting zapped a, a certain way in strength. And this one could have been zapped with like an 80. That's why there'd be a variation in the appearance along with, okay, even though we have close looking um, uh, photos, uh, along with, he uses different chemicals from each one that gives you, like, this one comes out and this one comes out less. And it goes on. This one seems longer, but if you see it, it's right here, within here. And if you see this little light thing here, there's the little light thing, but not lit up, okay? That's the way Leonardo da Vinci did his tricks. Now, I'm gonna tell you something that you're not, you're not <laughs> gonna laugh about. I did. I woke up, I think it was at two o'clock in the morning, and I said, I think I figured I broke his code. Are you ready? One part of his code, maybe 1% out of 100, okay? I didn't hear you guys say you're ready. <laughs> All right, so, see, oh, look at that. So if I even blow this up even more, this bunny, here's a bunny with the ears. I, you know, that's the way he is. If I blow this up, it would get even bigger, and I blow this up, it get even bigger, and sometimes he'll make one item uh, uh, be the same, and he'll make another item uh, bigger. See, look at that, even the lines match. So I would have to blow this one up just a hair. But, uh, okay. Now, follow me about one of his codes. Are you ready? Okay, I'm telling you, this is really trippy. How many times you heard mom or dad tell you that grandma or grandpa used paint by numbers? Okay, so if Leonardo da Vinci, if you take a look, this it may show up a little better on here. I'm gonna now I'm gonna distort this. Okay. These are numbers, even though they're getting blown. You can see this is an E, this is an A, this is, uh, it could be a, a T, it could be a seven, uh, this could be a two, yeah, it is a two. <laughs> Heck, backwards four, another four, another six, an F. So he uses the alphabets and he uses the numbers in many different ways. But this one way would be Let's say this surrounding is the Mona Lisa, which I'm, I'm certain, because this little surrounding is the Mona Lisa, but he was obsessed. But anyway, we're getting off track. So in my painting, the first color that he put over may have been transparency green, and he puts a two that this area of this little spot is the, is the green invisible ink paint but in this painting he knows that that's a two so he paints that area in a three to where it's in reverse so whatever this is missing it's hidden in the three okay so this one has more 
Um, so this one has the blank that this one fills. So this may be the two, this may be the two, this may be the four to block the two, and this may be the four, and then this this one may be the four, and then this one be the two, or a uh, three, or five, or seven, or eight, or whatever, or ABC. And the one who would know that would be him. And if he even forgot it, which is cool, this is the cool part, even if you forgot it, all you gotta do is look at your painting and you have your number next to it, which is number five right here. Upside down four, number five. So we five, four, four, so this one and this one's the same. Okay, so if you also look, here's these numbers, right? Here's this dog, I, I knows. Here's this dog, I, I knows. This has got the glasses on. So he's burying the glasses in the white with highlighted black. He's got a little bit of lightness of white in here with more black in reverse. The man is a genius to drive us crazy. Drove me crazy, I'm getting up at two o'clock in the morning still working on this painting that I've done for seven years. So with all that in mind, that's my hypothesis thoughts, and I'm pretty sure that I'm at a 99.999% on my belief. And all I gotta do, all I gotta do is come up with the other 99% of his stuff. <laughs> that would be something, huh? Let's see here. Let me let me see. You see this see these wings how it kicks straight? like this. I didn't even look to see. And this guy's got glasses. That's a cartoon ghost of some sort. That means I would wonder if I reduced this one down. It may be or may not be. If I'm lucky it makes me look better, right? Okay, so I move this on over and we scoot this on over. Oh, I gotta reduce that. And I have to do it in reverse because I flipped it. See, it may have bled through a little. Watch. I'm not saying a sure but not 99.999 percent you can see the the the, sh the lightener and and such here and this ain't even lined up a hundred percent so this guy this guy is extremely tricky on his work extremely tricky but you can see this guy with a nose and an eye and you can see now there's a longer body here. So if I reduce this down, and I reduce this down, if you take a look at the two, If you take a look at the two, he's got the doggy here. He's got he's got the doggy here. See? He's got a doggy here. He's got a bigger doggy here. 
He's got a doggy here, right in here. Very hard to see. Then he has a bigger doggy right here. So here's a doggy right here with the ears. Here's a doggy with the ears. Here's the line. Here's the line. Um, you got some strokes over here. You got something going on over here. Okay, this is where the Mona space is supposed to be. This is the blank space. This is another hidden deal. I actually have the Mona coming out of there that I've showed you in some of my other YouTubes. It's a real trip. I can even show it to you now if you want to see. Here it goes. May come up, come in upside down. Mm, no, let me try threshold. I mean, um, curves. Okay, so we got it right there. So let me take this and flip it. And then we take this and throw that for the corner that you're going to see. And we're going to see the Mona in curves. Right there. I went the wrong way with it. See it? See the Mona? That's where she's hiding. In one of the spots. Boom, boom. You got the same cut line. Let me let me bring this up for you to see the Mona. I can't overlay it, but that's the Mona. And let me move this down. There's the two, got the cut, got the cut, you got the face. Leonardo da Vinci, now this is the me Dion, that's the Mona. That's the Mona, that's the real Mona, that's the real Mona. This is a real Mona also, but it is in the me Dion. This is the me Dion. So, please, with your broken finger, that you guys have had, I hope it's healed now. Would you push the subscribe button? YouTubers will make you stronger if you exercise that finger. All right, exercise that finger for my behalf and the world to continue on with the study for a guy who's been up at two o'clock in the morning trying to figure out his ABCs and one, two, threes. And along with that, please stay inside we really lost like 121,000 people in new cases. Didn't lose, but got sick. Okay, we all been sick. We don't like it. And on top of that, I think we lost like, I don't know, two, 4,000 people. This is all within nine hours. Just going to sleep in California and waking up at 8 a.m. or 7 a.m. So with that in mind, we getting a lot of people infected in this world. So. Please, for our brothers and sisters and mothers and fathers and children, stay inside or stay safe and wear a mask. I even got my neighbors coming over and I got to tell them, wear a mask around my mom. And I'm looking like an animal. And I'm just asking. And that's the most frustrating voice that I just gave you. I mean, how can you? I got a, I got a sign out there, three quarters the size of a stop sign, saying, you know, please wear a mask. I love my mom. Thank you. And I don't know how to try it. And I even got free masks out there for them to wear. 
hundred dollars with a mask hang it on the sign pick it up put it on if you want to talk to my mom that's fine i got no problem wear a mask anyway with that all and say said don't forget about that broken finger <laughs> and god bless the whole world the universe and the heavens and i hope you really like my youtube in jesus name amen <laughs>